The plan launched earlier in the month outlines the ambitions of the people taking up a bottom-up governance approach. The prophecy says it's community first with its clan and tribal leaders headed by the paramount chief. Discussions on the Rapatona LLG began in 2019 when the provincial government of Manus wanted to do something different in terms of managing the island in the province. Professor Chalapan Kaluin said the provincial governor Charlie Benjamin agreed to work in partnership with the University of Papua New Guinea to craft its action plan. He said individuals from the School of Business and Public Policy, Law and Natural and Physical Sciences of the University will architect the plan following extensive groundwork on mapping clan boundaries and resource ownership with the people in the LLG. The professor added the plan rests on the pillar of governance with resource owners for both land and the ocean, having equal discussions and participation rights. For LLG, the first LLG in Manus, Rapatona, it's basically the community first. The community first means whoever owns the land, the clan land, the tribe and so on, they linked up together, you come to one big clan. Within the clan, you have a paramount chief. So in the case for Manus, that's what we're trying to do is, here is one province, it's the smallest province in the country. And if we can do this with the kind of people there, and hopefully we develop it, but that's the idea there. You the Rapatona Allergy Development Strategic Plan will require ample finances for its implementation. According to Professor Kaluin, the government's DSIP funds is not enough to fully implement the plan. He said the team had already identified several financial partners and dialogued with the provincial leaders and Lapans of Rapatona. This strategy is going beyond this, so we have identified partners. And so people like us, we've identified them, we've gone actually gone across and tell them that you can talk to the Americans. And so the angle here, it's sitting in there. The Americans have got quite a fair bit of resources in this. The multilateral agreements and the EU, UNDP, um, New Zealand government, and then you can go to GF, Green Climate Fund. They've got so much money. Katyundaba, TV1 News.